This will be a combination of three different exercises, but they're short, so hopefully we'll get through it pretty quickly. Uh, this is exercise 24-3A, creating a paper space layout. 24-4-1A, creating floating viewports. And exercise 24-4-2A, scaling floating viewports. I'm in my floor plan 24A drawing file in the Steps Lesson 24 folder. I will set viewports as the current layer. I have reset my drawing to a single viewport and zoomed extents. Notice that I've also changed the colors because these will appear a little bit better on our uh, viewport. Okay, first step is just to select layout one. We'll go down to the model paper space toggle and we'll select layout one. AutoCAD opens paper space and it brings my drawing into a single viewport. Let's open Quick View and we'll right click on our layout and we'll call it the Terra 2 layout. That'll make it a little bit easier to identify later on. Close that. We'll save our drawing and see if we can erase something. Notice that I can't select anything on my, on my drawing but I can select the viewport. Select the viewport, delete it, and there are no more holes in our paper to see our drawing through. Let's go ahead and save that and go on to the next exercise. This is beginning exercise 24.4.1a, creating floating viewports. Let's set the border layer current. So, and we'll insert, a, we'll insert a drawing border. We'll insert and we'll go to lesson 24. And we'll insert our title block. Alright, let's make sure everything is set properly. Okay, we have our title block and we're ready to create some views. We'll use the MView command, M-V-I-E-W, or the hotkeys MV. AutoCAD will ask us to identify the location, specify the corner of the viewport, and then there are several options. You can get familiar with these options by reading through section 2441 in your textbook. We'll begin at coordinates 0.5,7.5 and we'll specify the opposite corner at 4.75,4.25 and you'll see that we've created our first viewport. Let's create a second viewport. This one will go at 5,6.5 and 10,2.5. Now let's create an irregular viewport. Let's draw a circle. We'll set it at 2.25,2.25 .25, and we'll give it a radius of 1.75. Notice that all we really have is a circle. We will have to use the make view command and select an object. And we'll select our circle. Let's save our drawing. Move on to the last exercise, scaling floating viewports. We can set a separate scale in each one of our viewports. We'll start up here. We'll pan to center. Whoops. Let's open the floating viewport by double clicking in it. And then we'll pan to center the master bathroom, like so. We'll use the zoom approach to set the scale in our first viewport. Zoom. And we're going to set a 1 to 48 scale. Don't forget the XP that identifies this as being a paper, pa paper space scale. 
and we'll pan a little bit more to make sure we've got ourselves centered properly. Okay, let's try setting a scale in this viewport. In this case, we will use the viewport scale tools down here. And we'll set this one at 1 16th inch equals 1 foot. Finally, we'll activate the round viewport. We will center our bay window as best we can. And we'll set the scale in the round viewport at a quarter inch equal to a foot. And we'll center that a little bit better. All right, on the text layer, I'm going to draw, let's go back into paper space. I will draw a circle here and a rectangle here like so and then a line which will identify these as details trim my line up so that it's nice and pretty. There, we've created three scaled floating viewports.